my channel and welcome back to Rodent Replies, the series on my channel where I answer your questions about rats and mice. In today's video I wanted to answer the question of how can you tell if your rats and mice are in pain? Unfortunately rats and mice as well as other small rodents are really susceptible to illnesses such as respiratory infections, tumours, things like that which I will plan to touch on in a separate video. But they are really good at hiding that anything is in fact wrong with them, often until it is too late because they are a prey species, they don't want to show any signs of weakness that may come across to a predator. So it's really important when owning rats and mice to recognise when something has changed in their behaviour or their appearance to make sure they can get the medical attention they need. By the way, ignore this like Halloween thing going on behind me. I'm using my desk to like take all my Halloween and fall pictures, which you can see on my Instagram, but this is just what it's going to look like for now because I've like stuck down each individual leaf so if that looks a little bit weird I apologise but it probably makes things a little bit more themed even though I don't have like a planned theme background. Just ignore this like mess behind me. I want to preface this video by saying if you think there is anything wrong with your rat or your mouse or any other small animal please take them to a vet. They'll be able to see them in person and diagnose them in person and be able to tell you what the best thing is for them. Every animal, no matter how small, is entitled to vet care and it's the least you can do for them so please, please take them to the vet, okay? So you will know your animal the best and know when something is off with it, but there are a few signs that you can look out for that may hint that your rat or your mouse is in pain. Now your rats and mice may only exhibit one of these or they may exhibit a few of these signs together. Definitely if they are exhibiting multiple signs that they're in pain or discomfort, definitely seek medical attention and please take them to a vet. Now the first one, and probably the first one that you'd think of, is that they will make a noise when you touch them, go to pick them up. Now this isn't always obvious, and I definitely wouldn't say that there's nothing wrong with your animal if they don't make a noise when you touch them, but they may squeak, it may make a noise of discomfort or pain if you're trying to handle them, or they may avoid being handled altogether. If your rat or mouse is usually okay with being held, and you go to pick them up and they squeak, Either you've caught them off guard or if they're doing it repeatedly, there may be something that is causing them to have pain and discomfort, so this may be a sign that there is something wrong with them. But again, rats and mice do hide illness as well, so they won't always verbally tell you that something is wrong, so I wouldn't just go off of this to say whether there's something wrong with your animal or not. The second thing to look out for is maybe there are some behavioural changes in your rat or mouse, maybe they aren't as active as usual or maybe they're sleeping out in the open, particularly for mice that do like to sleep in hides and in nests. If they are sleeping out in the open, along with some other signs, this may be concerning and I definitely seek medical attention for them. They may also lose appetite. My mouse fig, who I will be using as some of the examples in this, was in quite a bit of pain before I unfortunately had to put him to sleep last week. So they may avoid eating certain foods. He was really into his foods and he didn't even want to accept any treats when he was in pain and discomfort. So if you notice that they are eating less, sleeping a bit more, this may mean that there is something wrong with them. They may also be unusually aggressive. If you find that you usually have quite a docile rat or mouse that is usually friendly towards you, if they are suddenly acting out, this may be out of pain. So definitely if your rat's behaviour changes in any way, look for other signs and symptoms that they may have something wrong with them. This could be a sign that they are in pain. Now the next thing to look out for is, of course, physical signs that they are in pain or discomfort. One thing to look out for is that they may be licking or scratching a certain area on their body. Most of the time you'll find this is because they have mites and they're causing themselves to bleed when they scratch themselves. This could also be because of some other health issues, so look out for that. The next few signs that your rat or mouse are in pain usually come together, and these may be that your rat is sat in a hunched position, not wanting to move too much, and their fur may be raised or looking messier than usual. And they may also be breathing a lot quicker than usual. They may also be side sucking where they're really having to heave their sides in when they breathe. This is all a sign that they may be in pain or discomfort. You may also find that your rats and mice are grinding their teeth. Now usually rats and mice will grind their teeth in something that's called bruxing. This is usually attributed with them being happy, but sometimes when they are in pain they will grind their teeth like this, so that's something to look out for as well. You may also notice that a rat or mouse in pain will have its eyes either half shut or really tightly screwed shut, and this is usually accompanied with the hunched over position, and this just signifies they are in a lot of pain. Don't mistake this for them sleeping though, obviously mice and rats will sleep with their eyes shut in some really weird positions sometimes, but if they are looking like this more than usual, along with some of the other signs, then it's definitely a cause for concern. While we're on this topic, there is something that is called the rat and mouse grimace scale. This is just used in laboratories to assess the level of pain and discomfort that a rat or mouse may be going through. But this is also a really good tool for us to use at home to compare our rats and mice to the pictures on this grimace scale to see whether they are also in pain or discomfort. So if we take a look at the rat grimace scale first, 
The first picture is orbital tightening, which I did mention previously, and that is just where the rat's eyes are a lot more closed than usual, or they are really tightly shut, to signify that they may actually be in a lot of pain. The more tightly closed shut the eyes are, signifies the rat is probably in a lot more pain. If you take a look at the rat in the first photo, it has wide, alert eyes, and this is just something to compare to the two other photos where the rat's eyes are a lot more shut. Secondly, the rat grimace scale looks at nose and cheek flattening, where the cheeks are sucked in and the nose appears elongated. Changes to the rat's ears may also indicate they're in pain if the space between a rat's ears is widened and they may be in a lot more pain. And lastly, changes to the rat's whiskers may indicate that they're also in pain if their whiskers are pressed more against their face instead of curving downwards like they naturally do, then they may be in pain. Now the mouse grimace scale, on the other hand, is very similar with a few different changes, and the first one is the same as rats, that is orbital tightening, where the eyes are tightly closed or half closed to indicate that they're in pain. But the second one on the mouse grimace scale is nose bulging, where the nose may appear wider from the front, or may even wrinkle beneath the eyes when the mouse is grimacing in pain. Mice may also have cheek bulges on the grimace scale. And the ear positioning of mice is also really important when considering if they're in pain. The ears may be pulled back a lot more, or they may be pulled completely flat against their head to indicate that they are experiencing some sort of discomfort. Whisker position is also really important in mice. They may have their whiskers pressed back against their face, or they might actually be raised and looking like they're standing on end, or they may be clumped together to indicate that they are in pain. So these were just some of the things to look out for to indicate whether your rat or mouse may be in pain. There are many reasons and many different health problems that may present themselves in rats and mice that may mean that they are in pain or discomfort, which is why it's so important to check on your animals regularly and if you see anything different in their behaviour or in them physically to take them to a vet and give them the medical attention that they need. Rats and mice as well as other small rodents deserve medical attention too. When we bring home an animal and decide to bring it into our lives, then we're taking on the responsibility of giving them everything we need. So even when they get sick, no matter how small they are, they do deserve to go to the vets too. Especially rats and mice that do unfortunately have a lot of health issues associated with them, it is really important to take them to a vet if you see that there is anything off with their behaviour or with them physically. If you have any other suggestions for topics you'd like me to talk about, rats or mice in a future rodent replies, please do leave them down in the comment section of this video. It helps me out a lot to know what you guys want to see in a video. And of course don't forget to subscribe to see future animal related videos from me, I have a lot of exciting videos coming up in the next couple of weeks, so definitely make sure you are subscribed and we'll see you in our next video. Bye!